Working with Rhino models of uh, different scales and complexities, and especially programming some complex geometrical operations like intersections, Boolean operations and so on, we constantly have to think about tolerance. And it is one of the most important concepts to understand in 3D modeling. Sometimes I feel I could literally make an entire multiple hour course about tolerance and all the use cases we had errors and problems arising because of it. When I taught at different universities, it was a recurring theme that students would be surprised about the behavior of Rhino and the solution was usually a proper understanding of tolerance. So let me give you just a couple of bullet points to introduce you to this world. Rhino is a NURBS modeler and NURB curves and surfaces are polynomials, mathematical concepts and formulas that can in theory create infinitely precise curves and surfaces. So however, our world is discrete and if we want to do any mathematical operation or visualize geometry on the screen, we need to render it into discrete representations and eventually show them using pixels as discrete elements. But let's forget about NURBS and start with the simplest example. If I take two lines forming a corner, one millimeter in length each, and ask Rhino to intersect them, we would get a point. Now I will separate them by 0.1 millimeter and try to ins intersect them again. No intersection, as you would expect. But how about if I go to my options and then units and then set my absolute tolerance to 0.2 millimeters? Now if I try to intersect them, voila, the intersection is found. So a lot of these mathematical operations can only work if you tell them the appropriate tolerance. Take a straight line passing through a, a little bump on the nerve surface. Mathematically, you could keep zooming and zooming and zooming infinitely at this intersection of the line and the bump, and at every point the bump is represented through some discrete polygonal steps that get refined every time you zoom in. But you have to decide to stop at some point and make the intersection, because our processor cannot handle infinity, and tolerance is telling the computer when to stop zooming, basically. Now, this simple fact has a lot of ripple effects that can manifest as different problems in different use cases. And I will probably cover some of them in the future videos and online courses. Here, I just wanted to divert your attention to this fact of life. And when you're sometimes surprised about some result that some geometrical operation gave you in Rhino or any other CAD software, maybe tolerance is where the problem lies. We as humans also work in discrete ways. Our brain power can handle only a limited amount of information and we have to stop thinking at some point and make decisions all the time. So like the CPUs and GPUs, we are also limited by time. So that is why we have to accept that we are not perfect and that we need to allow for tolerance. And this knowledge that we are not unlimited and uh, not perfect and that we all have limited time should hopefully lead to more tolerance in society, tolerance toward other people and other living creatures. Stay free.